while Meghan and Harry's deal with Netflix seems to be very much up in the air, and I mean that with all the sincerity, you know, because once again, when you look at it, you have to say, well, all of these things always start off well. That's television for you. You know, you get a big deal and you think, wow, this is going well. They love me. And then, of course, you find out that if you're not delivering, as in the case of Harry and Meghan, they very quickly go off you. This is mainly always, it's the one thing that really matters to any television company, money and exposure. You've got to drag eyeballs to the screen, the big screen, the small screen, digital platforms. They'll pay you anything if you can do that because they can rake in advertising and in the case of Netflix, of course, subscribers. But you see, it's not just Harry and Meghan that are truly struggling because they decided recently to sign up a book all about the debacle that was the Prince Andrew, the Duke of York interview with the BBC show Newsnight. You know, the one with Emily Maitlis. And then both Emily Maitlis and the producers both decided to come out with books to detail it. Now, I don't know about you, but how boring. I mean, you know, it's an interview. You got it. Move on. But seemingly, no, there's more to it. What is interesting, I think, to find out is simply this. When you look at that particular story, and in, you know, you have to think of it in this way, they decided to sign up some big names to star in this drama, including the former Doctor Who companion and former 90s pop star Billy Piper, ex-wife of Lawrence Fox, to boot as well. Good actress, but according to a very good source on set, seemingly it's not exactly sparkling. You know what I'm saying? Now, the bottom line is, as I pointed out, when you make these things, you have to have license to stretch the truth. So as I pointed out also, I think you will see that kind of disclaimer, you know, saying, well, certain parts are true. And here's a bit of element that we've stretched out to make the story work, that type of thing. And it's interesting, isn't it? Because obviously they've got to try and make something of this. And if you take it with a pinch of salt as a drama that it is, then that's fine. But even now, Netflix, who have paid a lot of money for this book and a lot of money for the production, are hoping that people will tune in. But a little bit like The Crown, given the fact that now we know they're struggling to make the story stick, how true will their version of events be? Will it be damaging even more so, though, to the Duke of York, Prince Andrew? Or should we just give it a little bit of a wide berth, as many people are now doing with the Netflix series of The Crown? Either way, it's out later this year. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.